Overtime is sponsored by the professional firefighters of Eastern Missouri. Hello and welcome to Overtime with SDL High School Sports. I'm Ben Lonow. And I'm Dave Guido. We had another wild week on the gridiron, week eight in Missouri. This time again, Washington putting up a big game. This time, instead of Dan Morris, it was Jared Rennick. Jared Rennick, running back for Washington, rushed for nine touchdowns, 361 yards, and an 84-57 win over Holt. It's the state record as far as we know, according to the Missouri State High School Activity Association record book. Uh, the previous mark had been eight, uh, set a couple of different times last time in 2005. Uh, the crazy thing about Rennick is he went for seven in the first half. That'll do it. That, that's a big number. That's a lot of touchdowns. And, and for whatever reason, Washington has a propensity for, for big scores and big numbers. I mean, Daniel Morris, two weeks ago with Zumwalt East, put his name in the state record book with a monster performance. Uh, this week, it's Jared Rennick. I, I don't know what it is about Washington, but, but their scoreboard might need to consider adding a third digit at some point because they put up points all the time. All right. And as it is, uh, wrapping up the regular season in Missouri, we're having a fight to the finish um, with district standings, jockeying for position there. Um, Francis Howell's holding on tight to that number one spot. Well, Francis Howell's sitting at number one, and, and they do, the district standings have all these points. It's a, it's a point system that involves strength of schedule, victories, uh, margin of victory, typical um, f a formula, shall we say. And, and currently, Francis Howell is number one with 47 points, but they have a bye week this week, so they're not going to get any more points uh, from their own side. I mean, their strength of schedule could help them if the, their opponents have victories or whatever. Um, but Blue Springs South is number two at the current, in the current standings at 46.54. They play at Lee Summit. There is a chance that Blue Springs South could leapfrog Francis Howell in the district standings at the end of Friday night when they play and take that top spot, which would give them home field advantage throughout the district tournament, which feeds into the Class 6 semifinals. All right, and staying in Class 6, how are things going to shake out with the likes of SLU, Kirkwood, Hazelwood Central? Well, well, SLU and, and Hazelwood Central are in uh, Class 6, District 3, with CBC. CBC is the top seed, and I don't think that's going to change. That 2-3 spot is, is up in the air. But um, St. Louis U High gets to host Kirkwood, and that is a game that if SLU High wins and, and does so convincingly, like they did last year at Kirkwood, they could hop over Hazelwood Central into the 2 spot and then avoid having to see CBC until uh, the district final. Um, Hazelwood Central, as it stands, I mean, if they have a huge margin of victory, you know, they get, you know, if they win by two touchdowns, it's, you know, is the most you can, as many points as you can get. Um, I, I think Hazelwood Central will be, be holding steady, especially if St. Louis Slough High beats Kirkwood by a small margin. If Kirkwood beats Slough High, then Slough High is probably going to end up in that three spot. So, um, the Class 6 District 1 standings, Kirkwood is kind of in a fight with Eureka. I mean, it would take, Eureka would have to have a, a big win over against Hazelwood East on, on Saturday to make any kind of noise, and Kirk would have to lose big, so I don't expect Kirk would have fall out of that top spot. All right, and in Class 2, we have a few teams chasing Brentwood, of course, all the points they put up. Well, Brentwood beats its opponents on average 53-7, to 7, so their margin of victory is very significant. Their strength of schedule, however, is, is not the greatest. Lutheran North comes in at 4-4 four and four and is right on Brentwood's heels. Currently, the standings reflect that Brentwood is number one with 55.57 points, and Lutheran North is, has 50.11. Uh, Lutheran North picked up a huge win over Trinity, on Friday night in a battle of Class II powers who also share a district. Uh, Trinity is now the third team in this district in the standings. So at 4-4, four and four, Lutheran North, whose strength of schedule includes St. Louis U High, John Burroughs, Westminster, I mean, they have a real chance to earn that top seed. So if Brentwood handles its business, I expect Brentwood to sit up at the top spot. But Lutheran North's coming, and they're coming fast. All right. And speaking of playoffs, in Illinois, we've got an interesting situation shaken out with East St. Louis. Um, they could miss out. Well, uh, because of the teacher strike, East St. Louis is going to, it's, gonna, it's missed its second consecutive game last week. They had to forfeit against Belleville East. Um, if they are to get on the field this week, they have a shot at making the playoffs. In Illinois, you have to have a above 500 record to be considered for playoff contention. Uh, currently at 3-4, and four, they would have to play at Collinsville this week and then beat O'Fallon next week to get over 500 to finish the regular season at 5-4. and four. So, but if they don't get on the field this week, East St. Louis's playoff hopes are finished and their season is done. So it would be a real shame um, because that was a very good uh, Flyers team. You know, great win to start the season at Simeon. They played a very good Montini team who was yet to lose uh, tough in week two. I, I just, I, I would hate to see the kids not get the opportunity to play because of the teacher strike, but that's the world we live in. It is. And as always, you want to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and see all the good stuff that we'll be putting out there each week. Thank you again for watching. This has been Overtime with STL High School Sports.